Hey gang, back with another video for you today. I've got the latest release of Banana Republic fragrances called the Collezione Reservata, and we've got three fragrances in the collection. Midnight Hour, Tuberose Overdose, really love that name, Velvet Pomegranate. Three different fragrances that just launched. I'm gonna tell you all about these three fragrances. Although they didn't just launch, they've been launched for a while and I'm just getting around to doing my video. And I'm also gonna do a top 12 list and you can find out where these three fragrances, the new ones, uh, end up on the list if they do end up on the list. So find out about the Banana Republic Collezione Reservata fragrances coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yes, today we're talking about the Banana Republic fragrances called Collezione Reservata. It's Midnight Hour, this one. Tuberose Overdose, Velvet Pomegranate. And I'm doing a top 12 list and we'll let you know if any of them end up on the list. There's a lot of fragrances in this collection and I've got them here, all of them. Not everything is on the list. And I'm also gonna do a bonus portion at the end of the video and let you know one of my most uh, unloved fragrances from this collection that everybody seems to love. I don't get it. Before I get to the fragrances, if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you haven't subscribed, please do click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. Are you a fan of the Banana Republic fragrances? I do want to uh, let you know, a lot of these do smell like their other fragrances, but done in a different way. So they'll start reminding you of other fragrances uh, that are sort of popular and things like that. But the, this new collection, um, two of them kind of lean feminine. One of them is masculine. And uh, I'm going to start off with the, the masculine offering. But before I let you know, these are 75 ml bottles, as you can see like this. And they are $96 suggested retail. I have a link to So Avant Garde, who is the distributor of these fragrances, and there's a discount code of 20% off in the info box as well. You can go there and take advantage of any fragrances on the So Avant Garde website. So I'm going to talk to you about my favorite in the collection, Midnight Hour, first. Again, this is a 75 ml for 96. It's an Eau de Parfum concentration, and um, this one does have familiarity. It kind of reminds me of that kind of Aventus style of very crowd pleasing, kind of fruity take on a fragrance. And to me, this one is actually darkened with patchouli as a note. And I get lots of patchouli in this one and it smells great. And it smells really, really nice. I get this fruitiness here, but they're calling it mango skin. Is there fruitiness in mango skin? I'm not sure. I'm definitely getting fruitiness here if it's mango or not. It's more like the citrus pineapple thing that we are familiar with in Aventus or something more like a, a Cedrat Boise or the latest Intense Cedrat. But for me, there's definitely lots of patchouli, hedion with this kind of jasmine-like floral touches, and of course leather, which is prominent in the, you know, the fragrances of Ventus and uh, things like Hachivat or Intense or Cedra Boise. There, you know, there is a there is definitely the mango-like qualities here, but for me, it not only smells like the mango, but it also kind of reminds me of other fruits that are a little more substantial, I guess. I'm not the biggest fan of mangoes to begin with, so I'm not too familiar with the smell of mangoes, although I've smelled them in my lifetime. Uh, but to me, this doesn't really smell like uh, mango skin, perhaps it does, but I get more of like a leathery, kind of a something leathery kind of a skin. But there's definitely some gingery touch in here, loads of muskiness, and a little bit of a distant greenness in the background. But I quite like that it smells great on me. I love the patchouli amped up in here. I love patchouli, but this is kind of like the clean patchouli as well. More of the kind of toned down patchouli as in not chocolate cakey, because I don't get any of that chocolate cakiness here. But they're just, there's definitely that kind of clean patchouli like quality that I really, really like. So I think Midnight Hour is definitely a winner. I would suggest that you test these fragrances out if they sound great to you. But also this one is definitely gonna be a crowd pleaser because it smells really really great uh, and then the fruitiness kind of sweetens up on me as well and again I'm getting a little bit of the mango skin I get other fruits in this but perhaps it is the mango skin they're talking about either way this is midnight hour my favorite of the three in the Collezione Reservata fragrances so my second favorite in the Collezione Reservata fragrances is Tuberose Overdose Tuberose Overdose is a great name I absolutely love that name I, I wish I thought of that name. 
But this is tuberous overdose, yes. But no, it's not only tuberous overdose, it's a, a floral overdose to begin with. Lots of tuberose here and lots of jasmine. You definitely pick them up. And you're also going to pick up a lot of frangipani and tiar flower. They're definitely here. You experience the tiar flower and you experience lots of uh, the flowers in general. But there's definitely kind of like a tropical kind of a floral experience happening here. But in addition to that, there's a little bit of a light gourmand touch and definitely like a green apple kind of an experience here as well. It smells really really great. The other thing this also kind of reminds me of is freshly laundered sheets and laundry. Very potent laundry detergent smell kind of mixed in with your linens and uh, sheets and things like that for a very very fresh fragrance experience with this one. But definitely you experience the tropical touches but it's an overdose of not only tuberose but definitely an overdose of uh, flowers in general. So tuberose overdose is my second favorite of the bunch. Unfortunately, velvet pomegranate, I did not care for too much. Uh, something about it, I don't know, it was a little young and girlish to me and um, very sweet and I don't mind sweet fragrances, but this one came off a little too sweet and I was hoping that the pomegranate would be more like the tart variety, which is what I'm used to in pomegranates. I like that tartness with pomegranates. This is not that and it wasn't a, it wasn't acting overly fruity with the pomegranates either. So velvet pomegranate sadly didn't do it for me, but it features notes of pomegranate, tuberose, orange flower, vanilla, pear, rhubarb, patchouli, bergamot. For me, it's pomegranates, but overly ripe and it gets sweet, no tartness whatsoever, but lots of white flowers with the tuberose and orange flower and it's sweetened up with the vanilla. In addition to the pomegranates, you have some of the pear in here. You definitely pick up the pear. I mean, it's not a bad fragrance. I just didn't click with it, if that makes sense. It's not something I would gravitate towards because it also seems a little potent, like very, very concentrated. Uh, I think it's just the fact that it's a very, very sweet fragrance and it feels like it's just overwhelming sometimes. And again, don't get me wrong, I love sweet fragrances. I love vanilla sweet kind of fragrances. This one just didn't do it for me. I might grow into it. Who knows? But either way, Velvet Pomegranate uh, is the third and final fragrance in the Collezione Reservata a collection of uh, Banana Republic fragrances. These are out now. You can get them on So Avant Garde. Let me tell you the top 12 list. Sadly, Velvet Pomegranate did not make the list and several of the fragrances from the collection didn't make the list either. Uh, and again, as I said after the outro, I'm going to tell you about one that I don't care for in this collection. In, uh, in comparison to the one I'm going to talk about that I don't care for, I think Velvet Pomegranate does have a great smell. It's just not for me. Does that make sense? I wouldn't wear this one. But uh, the one that I'm going to talk to you about in the outro, I don't care for it whatsoever as a smell. First fragrance at number 12 is Peony and Peppercorn at number 12. So this is a spicy, peppery peony experience. And the thing is they also have some rose in here with some fresh notes and musks and things like that. So it gets to be a floral, spicy, musky kind of an experience. There's a light fruitiness in there with plum. So I've put a uh, peony and peppercorn at number 12. At number 11, it's tuberose overdose. Uh, do quite like this one. And comparing peony and peppercorn to tuberose overdose, I get more of a potency as far as a concentration of the fragrance. But I already mentioned what this one's all about. Loads of tuberose with jasmine, frangipani, there's tiar flower and green apple and a little bit of a chocolatey praline touch. So tuberose overdose at number 11. So 90 pure white is at number 10. This one's to me a very clean fragrance. It also kind of reminds me of the Gap Banana Republic fragrances from yesteryear. If you're familiar with those, this one kind of has that familiarity, but it's a very clean and musky experience with green tea, musk, grapefruit, bergamot, jasmine, violet leaf, and vetiver. So there's a little bit of an ozonic touch and definitely kind of a woody, earthy dry down with uh, 90 pure white at number 10. At number nine, it's Cypress Cedar. Cypress Cedar is a great uh, woody fragrance experience. It's uh, not only Cypress uh, as a note which is kind of green and very very unique kind of a woody uh, fragrance experience with cedar also so it's not only those two notes you also have some vetiver but you do have a little bit of orangey touch and a bit of spice and some fruitiness uh, bitter orange moss rhubarb mint and pink pepper so it's a nice balance of woods and uh, citruses and uh, you know uh, in addition to that some uh, fruits and uh, aromatics. So this is Cypress Cedar at number nine. At number eight, we've got 06 Black 
Platinum. This is going back to the very original collection of fragrances launched in this particular collection. And this is a leather fragrance with spices and citruses eventually uh, drying down to an ambery woody base. It's leather, pink pepper, orange blossom, amber, there's some cactus, jasmine, moss, and patchouli. Definitely a great leathery experience. Not overwhelming, but smells great and uh, has a decent performance as well. 06 Black Platinum at number eight. This is a great one at number seven. It's Neroli Woods. Definitely a great smelling Neroli, powdery experience and woody dry down with lots of Neroli and mandarin leaf, coconut nectar, orange blossom, sandalwood, solar notes, cedar, and frangipani. There's definitely woody experience here and a little tropical as well. It's very, very sunshine, like a sunshine in a bottle kind of an experience with citruses and citrus flowers. So Neroli Woods at number seven. So at number six, going to more of a modern uh, release from this house. Like these came out last year, or at least this one did. This is Metal Rain, this one right here. This is uh, sandalwood, lavender, green tea, ambrosinide, black currant, lemon, violet leaf, and cashmere. And this particular fragrance also reminds me of a Creed fragrance. And I believe, um, I'm drawing a blank with the name, but there's definitely kind of like that reminder of a Creed fragrance. In fact, the next one also is a little bit of a reminder of a Creed fragrance. But this one definitely has a bit of a metallic um, ozonic experience, especially since it has violet leaf note and definitely has a little bit of a fruitiness and then also some musk. Metal Rain at number six. At number five, it's Grassland. And this one definitely re reminds me a little bit of Green Irish Tweed. Again, these definitely remind us of other fragrances, but they seem to be in a different direction. They're not like dupes or things like that. They go in different directions. But Grassland is definitely an aromatic experience with mint, ambergris, bergamot, lavender, sandalwood, ozonic notes once again, moss and apple. If you like the idea of Green Irish Tweed, definitely check this one out. It does smell green and fresh grassland at number five and I put midnight hour at number four definitely really like this one a lot it's an easy wear I think it's gonna be a crowd pleaser I think it'll garner compliments it smells great especially mixed with your own body chemistry I think it, it does have great projection and longevity as well especially because of that patchouli as I mentioned that's in here it's also the patchouli in addition to that we got hedione leather musk ginger of course the mango skin leaves and star anise a wonderful fragrance number four midnight hour can you guess my number one at number three, it's 17 Oud Mosaic. Going back to the very, very initial drop of these fragrances, the first batch. This is a great take on something that smells like Oud Ispahan from the house of Dior. In fact, it's a, a little more animalic than Oud Ispahan. And it's actually really, really uh, a great smelling Oud and Rose combo. It's agarwood, plum, Turkish rose, saffron, cardamom, white pepper, and labdanum. Definitely has an ambery dry down. There's definitely a leathery experience as well, but it's a great combination of Oud and uh, rose with a little bit of a fruitiness in there. 17 Oud Mosaic at number three. Number two, tobacco and tonka bean. This is a very creamy tobacco experience with tonka beans. It's also got a light fruitiness in there uh, and a little vanillic coconutty experience as well. So it's tonka beans, mirabelle plum, tobacco leaf, vanilla, coconut, and pear. It does have a little bit of a reminder of something like a Zara's Rich Warm the Tobacco Collection fragrance. A little bit. It's not identical. There's, I think, the fact that it has coconut might hint at it a little bit. They're different though. Tobacco and tonka bean from the house of uh, Banana Republic at number two. My number one favorite is 78 Vintage Green. Yes, it's great. It smells really, really great. This one also does remind me a little bit of Hermes Un Jardin Mediterranean. It's a great fresh green fig experience. It's bergamot, green tea, green leaves, fig, mandarin, orange, jasmine, vetiver, and magnolia. I love this one. It's very fresh. It's a perfect fragrance to wear in the summertime. Overspray, smell great. A wonderful release. 78 Vintage Green. This goes back to the original launch as well. If you've noticed, the, the bottles have changed and they've become colorful as of late, but uh, they used to be definitely clear. I like, the, I like the colorful bottles. But either way, guys, that's all I have for you today. Those are my rank list of Banana Republic fragrances. I left off a bunch. And my thoughts on Midnight Hour, along with Tuberose Overdose. And uh, finally, Velvet Pomegranate, which didn't make the top 12 list. Have you tried these new fragrances from Banana, Re Banana Republic called Collezione Reservata uh, Collection? Let me know, put a comment down so I can find out. Either way, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.
And as promised, here's a fragrance that I don't like in this collection. I don't know what it is because it has a huge following. Every time I do a video on this collection, everybody na names this particular fragrance, but it just doesn't do it for me. This is Dark Cherry and Amber. Boy, what am I missing out? I just don't smell anything, hardly anything there. It's like hardly any cherry and hardly any amber. It's just like woods, nothing but woods with a little hint of cherry and a little bit of amber thrown in. I don't get the hype around it. It's disappointing to me. Maybe I have a bad bottle. I don't know, but it just doesn't smell anything like dark cherry and amber. Are you guys fans of this particular fragrance? Do let me know. Put a comment down. Either way, guys, that's all I have for you today. Stay tuned for the next video tomorrow. Bye-bye.